Hello beautiful people and welcome to Armor Adventures. Today we will talk about tank types. So let's go. As you can see first in German uh, tank tree there are SPGs. SPGs actually are not a tanks. I mean like real tanks. They stay it's short for self propelled gun. Uh, it's called also artillery uh, and the uh, purpose of this tank is to stay behind in let's say back of the map and to uh, shoot at uh, enemy tanks from far distance. Usually they are very slow, no armor, they need, they, they, it takes them a lot of time to aim uh, usually they make good damage if they if it's a direct hit and also they can stun enemies uh, they have bad camo uh, and they are not good for spotting so it's a good for players who want to stay in behind not be so involved in the game and just you know casually shoot enemies while you are watching your favorite show on TV uh, next tank types are tank destroyers. Uh, there are all kind of tank destroyers. Uh, usually th their purpose is to stay behind and snipe enemy tanks. Uh, but you can also uh, go forward uh, on the front line to fight. It all it depends. Uh, do you have armor, speed and so on. There are all kind of tank destroyers. Some have very good armor, but most of them don't have good armor. Usually they are good at spotting. They have good camo. Very good uh, gun, damage, damage per minute and so on. Speed is also usually good, but uh, it all depends. There are few tanks uh, which, had, which have uh, very good armor, but low speed. Also, you can have a tank destroyer with uh, no armor and no speed. Uh, so oh, it all depends. I will tell you about more details when we will go through entire tech tree, so you can know which tanks has which kind of characteristics. Third tank uh, type is are heavy tanks. Uh, usually, they have good armor especially turret armor and upper hull armor. Lower front hull armor is usually bad. Uh, usually they have decent speed. Some of, the, some of them are faster, some of them are slower. Um, they have decent gun. They don't have, usually they don't have best guns, but they have decent guns. Uh, Camouflage is usually very bad. Uh, spotting is usually also not very good. Uh, and speed, I already talked about speed. Yeah, that's it. That's it about. Also, there are all kinds of heavy tanks. Some of them have better. S Basically, if you have good armor, usually tanks are slower. So you have tanks which don't have good armor, but they are faster. But for all of them, you, they don't have good camo and good spotting range. Next are medium tanks. It's kind of similar story with them. Usually they have decent, uh, well not decent, but some armor. Most of them doesn't have any armor, but let's say in average they have some armor. They don't have very strong gun, they have decent gun uh, and they have decent camo and decent spotting. It all depends. You have also some uh, medium tanks which have uh, good armor and even good speed. Uh, and <coughs> uh, last one are light tanks. Their purpose is to spot enemies, they have very good spotting, very good camo, usually very bad gun, 
uh, usually no armor uh, and they, their speed is usually very good so about playing positions on the map with artillery you need to play on the back with tank destroyers if you don't have armor you also usually play from behind and snipe enemy from far distance so they cannot see you and hit at you heavy tanks are usually played on front line or over the ridge line ridge line means that if you have for example hill here and you just peek a little bit shoot at enemies and quickly return uh, medium tanks are versatile tanks you can snipe from the back you can uh, go in the front uh, uh, but you need to be ca usually careful with them they are best to, to uh, with them to, if you will flank enemies by flanking enemies i mean if your friends are fighting with other tanks and then you go around the, their side and come from other corner that's why in that case you can hit them where, where they don't have good armor uh, light tanks uh, usually you go first and hide somewhere in the bush and spot enemies of course you can also flank uh, they are also very good for flanking enemies especially in late stage of battle and uh, you know to come to, to enemy from behind <coughs> Usually, all tanks ha have very bad armor on its sides and rear. Uh, every time, if you have opportunity, always shoot at enemies on sides or, or on rear. And also, for yourself, try never to turn your side or ass to enemies. Uh, that is all about tank types and in next video I will tell you more details about tech 3 uh, for all nations so you can know what to expect and uh, to be sure what which line you will grind. Take care guys and have a good play. Uh, uh, guys I forgot to say a few things. Uh, SPG and artillery are very good uh, to play them on open maps. If you will uh, have city map, uh, you will not like that game. Heavy tanks are best in city maps and on uh, close one-to-one -one fight. Of course, if you have heavy tank with good armor. Uh, medium tanks. Uh, usually they don't have armor, so they, they are not very good in city maps, but they can work very, very well if you know how to play with them. And they are versatile, you can play medium tanks on open maps or city maps. Especially on city maps if you have a medium tank with very good armor. Light tanks are usually best at open maps, but of course also if you know how to play them, you will uh, uh, be good in city maps. Tank destroyers, if they don't have armor, they are best at, in open maps, not in city maps. Unless you have tank destroyer with very good armor, then uh, for for them it's best to play them in city maps but unfortunately you cannot choose maps uh, it's you know <laughs> it's how much you are lucky uh, and uh, heavy tanks are best for cl close combat while tank destroyers or mediums uh, without uh, good armor are best to snipe from the distance that's all guys See you in next video.